We are back. Day 22? 22. Jesus. We're kind of speeding through this. We're like almost halfway at this point. And today is Espeon Day. Which I think is pretty fine actually. I don't know how many moves I need to test out, but I played a bit of every Espeon set, so it might be decent. It might be decent. But let's uh let's read up on Unite TB. Anticipation. An EV will be affected by hindrance, hindrance is negated, and EV becomes immune to hindrances for a short time. 35 second cooldown. Hindrances include slows, multi-layered hindrance moves such as Pikachu's Bolt Tackle will only have the very first launch negated. And then we have that's for EV, and then we have the same thing basically for Espeon. When Espeon would be affected by Hindrance, the Hindrance is negated and Espeon becomes immune to Hindrances for a short time. At the same time, this ability deals damage to the enemy that attempted to inflict the Hindrance and applies a 30% slow for 1 second, 35 second cooldown, and then same note. Uh, boosted with every third attack. <coughs> and with Espeon becomes a boosted attack whenever a set amount of time passes, so 5 seconds. Firing a beam in front of the user, the beam deals increased damage and decreases the movement speed of targets by 30% for one second. Okay. It's pretty important to note, I think, uh, partly for your secure in lane, and you really shouldn't be spamming your autos on this character. Eevee launches three stars at target location, starts in a horizontal line perpendicular to Eevee facing. Okay, complicated. Stars continue to fly in the direction once past the target location until the maximum damage range, maximum range reached. When an enemy is hit by a star, subsequent stars deal 70% less damage. So this is your secure in lane. Like really, really good secure to be honest in lane. Um, six second cooldown as well, so it's not too bad. And then we have Growl. Growl at a designated enemy, dealing damage and decreasing their movement speed by 30% for two seconds. Seven second cooldown. Move speed decrease is good, I guess. I guess Growl into like whatever this move is. Okay, and then at level 4 we get either Psyshock, Espeon Material Psychic Projectiles and launches them at a designated location, dealing damage to enemies hit by the projectiles and decreasing movement speed for each projectile hit by 15% for 3 seconds. Damn, 75%. Orbs start in a horizontal line, da 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 da. Target hit by all 5 projectiles are stunned for 1.25 seconds when an enemy is hit by a projectile, subsequent projectiles do 70% less damage. When Psyshock is enhanced via Future Sight Reset, it launches stronger Psychic Projectiles at a designated location. These projectiles at their point of convergence cause an explosion, dealing damage to enemies in the area of effect. There is no damage increase. Increase the speed at which the projectiles travel. Oh, so it just goes faster at level 10. That makes sense. And then the other option we have is Stored Power, also 5 second cooldown. Unleash blasts of psychic power at random enemies within an area, dealing damage to enemies hit, decreasing their movement speed from each projectile hit by 10% for 2 seconds, max 50%. As there's one blast of psychic power every 2 seconds, or after hitting an enemy with a boosted attack. Oh, so I get one boosted, one, one store thingy per boosted attack, good to know. Up to 5 blasts can be stored at once, okay. So this move is used, Espeon's movement speed is increased by 70% for 1.2 seconds. Targets hit by a psychic blast will take 70% less damage from subsequent his hits. When stored power is enhanced by future sight, it an increased number of psychic blasts, 8 total, and restores Espeon's HP by 150. Also deals additional damage to enemies below 50% max HP, level 10. And then we have the other moves, which is Psybeam, 7.5 seconds. Fires a peculiar ray in the designated direction. If the beam hits an enemy, it will then split beyond the first enemy hit and deal damage to other enemies in range. It's almost like water pulse a little bit. The initial enemy hit and these split rays deal more damage based on the max HP of the first enemy hit by ray. So you wanna tech theoretically in a team fight you wanna aim for the tank because then it'll do more damage. The first enemy hit by the ray is slowed or is stunned, those same effects will be applied to the enemy hit by the split ray. So if you stun one, you can actually stun five. Or if you stun, you can stun all five players. That's crazy. The race split. The split rays will never go towards Espeon and will refract. But a massive of a 90 degree angle, so like this, I guess. Distance from initial target split ray hit is 75% of the max range. Stun. Stun copy duration is the maximum duration of the stun causing the initial Pokemon to be stunned. Jesus, there's so much to read. For the split rate of damage component of the initial from the initial target's max HP damage is capped at a thousand, and I guess swap at two thousand. Okay. 
deals additional damage to enemies that are unable to attack. So if they're stunned, it does more damage. Type emits an unable to attack the initial target. Split rays will also deal the additional damage. So you really want to aim for stunned people after level 12. Stunned tanks, I guess, is like the best. This is pretty. This is a really, really broken move though. In a team fight, if you hit one, it does so much damage to everyone because it just bounces everywhere. Then we have eight second cooldown on future set. SP unlocks onto an enemy, dealing damage two seconds later in an area centered on a locked on target. Deal more damage based on the locked on target's missing HP. Okay, so it's like an execute. While locked onto an enemy, SP and other moves will target that enemy whenever possible. If the center of side shock is within the area of effect. Or a future set when released, Psyshock will home in on the future set affected target. Each time Espion deals damage through Psyshock, store power auto attacks, future set's cooldown is reduced by 0 0.8 seconds. Good to know. The locked on target is on the opposing team and is knocked out before the area damage is dealt, but not the percentage missing HP damage. A single powered up use of Psyshock or store power becomes available for a short time. Full heal. And Blissey's natural to remove future set. Okay, so basically, if you kill someone with your stored power, you get a boosted, boosted like Psyshock or stored. If you kill someone with future set, you get a boosted stored power. That's what I mean. And that's really, really strong. So you should look for those resets. Um, Aspen deals 10% additional damage to lock down targets. Okay, so just a bit more damage. And then the ult throws enemies into the area of effect, into the air, in the area of effect, into the air, and suspends them using psychic power. After a delay, and, delay and explosion occurs, the deals damage to all enemies in the area of effect and shops them. You have movement speed, CDR, and shield. Okay. And we have, it's like a minute and a half cooldown. You can probably ult like 310 and still get it back if you farm a bit. Something like that. Yeah, oh my god, there's a lot of combos. So, Psy Shock, Psy Beam, Stored Power, Future Sight, and Stored Power, Psy Beam. Seem to be like the only viable things, and this build is always the same. It's just triple damage with flash. Okay, sounds good. Let's test some stuff out in practice. We will be playing this in lane. As you can see, this is how we aim swift. So you want to aim it at the end. It's pretty decent secure, but it gets a lot better at level four. Um, there we have growl, which is just like a four hit attack. So. Okay, that does not do that much damage. I want to see what the range is for this because I actually don't really know it. Is this? This is not range yet. This should be range, right? Yeah, so that's in range. It's like 20%, maybe 10%. And on these ones, it's. I mean, that's definitely a killable. I want to try and limit it to see how high it can be. I mean, this is too high, right? Oh, that's actually not too high. Wait, I want to test again with that before I get upgraded one. I mean, that's gotta be too high, right? Yeah, that's just too high. Okay. All right, so we pick up Psyshock. You can see our boosted auto attack there. It's charging, and now we have it again after five seconds. Then we aim this. We try and hit as many projectiles as we can through them. It does a lot of damage. And it also is really, really good secure in lane. So this character is super, super good in lane. Um, as you can see, we nearly get this one from from halfway range. And then once we get side beam, it's going to get even better. We can use this to go through multiple opponents. Uh, let's just get side beam real quick. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so now you can see this is basically full. I don't think it kills it from quite this range, but it should almost kill it from this range. Yeah, it almost gets it from that range. So you can get it probably from like 70% bare minimum. And then here we have how Psybeam works. We hit one and it bounces to the other and it does the same amount of damage. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I th can you... No, so that doesn't work, right? You have to like flash first and then... Hold on, let me test some stuff real quick. I think I have to like... Project button first and then look to aim it because that's not gonna change. Oh, it wait, it does change the range. Oh, it actually does change the range if you flash afterwards. I had no idea. Okay, well, that's something to note. You can eject with your stored power, and I guess you can do the same with side beam, right? So we're out of range. Yeah, you can ex also extend side beam range. So here we can see 
Wait, why didn't it bounce? Am I stupid? There we go, it bounced there. But when we hit the big one, it should... Hello? Theoretically do more damage. I'm... I don't know why it doesn't bounce. It might be like a cooldown. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't change, right? It just goes... Oh my god, bro, you can like curve it! If you come from the side? What the hell? So you, st you still basically have to aim on it. Like all, f all five projectiles will go from where you're aiming it from onto your end point, but you can get like some crazy curve on it. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. I don't know how you can really use that, but I'm sure if you're like... I don't know if you know exactly what you're doing, it's pretty crazy. Either way, so here we have our ult. As you can see, we just stun people. We get unstoppable and then it pushes them away. We can also flash in the middle of our ult to reposition it. Um, yeah, I think that's that. And then here you can see we fire it off quicker now. That we're at level 11, I think, or 10 even. Um... And Psybeam just does more damage to stun the opponents. Uh, yeah, I think that's 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 it for this move set, right? Basically, you can use Eject with every move that you can think of on this set. You can even go backwards in theory if you wanted to for some reason. Oh, does this reposition it? Oh my god, it wait, is there a way to hit both? No, I don't think I can hit both targets, right? No, I don't think so. Anyway, let's move on to the other movesets real quick. Uh, so we get Stored Power and Future Sight. So, Future Sight, we put on a little... A little marker like this, and then when we press Stored Power, it'll go towards that person. And there's our boosted. I'm gonna try and get this guy to die to future side. Does he die here? No, but he should die now. So you see when this happens, we get a little boosted stored power. And when we use this, it deals way more damage and gets way more things off. You can see the little counter below our name that says how many stored power ticks we do have. So it increase, I think it increases every time we deal damage right and also like over time by itself um, and yeah whatever we have future sighted the stored power will go on that can we flash the range can we increase the range by flashing no okay so you cannot increase the range by, by using your jack you just have to use it um, yeah, and that's that's pretty much it for this set, I think, right? Super important that you try and get your future side stacks like this and then deal loads and loads of damage and get a double. Like, then we have double stored power. Or you can kill with... Okay, so apparently you can also kill with stored power um, while the future site reset is on. So basically, as long as the future site reset kills or finishes it off before the execute damage comes through, you're fine. Bro, I'm getting cooked. Yeah, so, okay. In that way as well, we get our reset. Okay, great. I think that's about it then. Um, you just said plus gives us what exactly again? Okay, so more damage and stored power plus gives us when they're below 50 HP, right, 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 50% HP. And then the last kind of set we could theoretically use is stored power and Psy Beam. So it's just, I think this is like mainly focusing on Psy Beam damage, but it's mostly for the like 
Stored power, I feel like, is mostly for the move speed. So we can reposition easier and then get our side beams off. I would assume that's how you played it. But we'll figure that out in the games. I think I'll do like 7-7-6 seven, seven, of each game and figure that out. Okay, anyway, that brings us to the end. Actually, one thing maybe that is worth noting is Secure on Ray is very good when we're using this moveset. So I think this should be range, right? Yeah, so that, that that's probably more or less about the range. But we have pretty good secure with this. Either move does the job relatively well. Um, so yeah, something worth noting. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Okay, and I think that now brings us to the end. So let's get some highlights going. Oop, that already. Oh, I missed. Should we get a stun on this gun? Yeah, I died forever. We'll take it. That was like four medals. No! Oh my god, I cooked as hard as I could. Probably not worth using growl, is it? Smurfed early lane. I think I got both secures. No portal. Did he get that? Ahead of me? Nah, Rob. 
I think that's the biggest thing that you don't have an ult feels like such a huge. Bomba. I have to go in here, right? Oh my god. Oh god. Can we do a hold? We don't have hold. I cooked again, but I just can't aim at one person. No! Yes! Okay, I'll take. Bro, the skill there! Me and KP with the performance to keep us in the game. Oh my god, it actually goes in. Hello, am I missing something? We won one, two. Oh my god, we just lost that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and eleven on Espion. A lot of it is like solo queue, and as soon as we started duo queue, it was a lot better, but uh, the first nine games were horrendous, especially on like Psyshock, right? Because I'm just too immobile for solo queue. And then Future Shake got a lot better over time. It was started getting really fun. I think both um, like Stored Power with Future Sight or Psybeam is pretty good, but Stored Power is just very fun right now as well. So I would recommend playing that for sure. But yeah, tomorrow I believe is Umbreon, so hopefully that goes.